Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make gingerbread man pinata cookies. Ooh. All right, we're starting this out with two cups. I keep bumping into these floating candles. We're starting out with two cups of regular white sugar. Next, we have one cup plus two tablespoons of brown sugar, and this is packed. This is my favorite thing. Next is one cup of shortening, except I am using coconut oil. Let's go mix this. Okay, I'm creaming this together, and then we're gonna add in our eggs. And now I'm adding the eggs in one at a time until they're completely mixed. I'm adding in four eggs. And now separately, I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of molasses. Molasses has a very distinct smell. Memories. This reminds me of something that somebody would give you if you were sick, like that disgusting old-fashioned cough medicine or syrup that in the movies they're always like, Ew! I don't want to take that! <laughs> now I'm adding in one tablespoon of ginger, another tablespoon of cinnamon. <laughs> oh! I got shot dust up my nose. <laughs> but that smells gingerbready. I'm adding in two teaspoons of baking soda. Now one and a half teaspoons of salt. All right, now let's mix this in with the rest of our batter. Now I'm adding in six cups of flour, one cup at a time, mixing it in between. I'm just gonna spray the pan, and here's our dough. I've got my Christmas cookie cutters out. Now I'm just rolling out my dough. I've made it about a sixth of an inch. Now I'm cutting out my cookies right on the pan. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of different shapes, and then whatever is left, just take off the extra dough, and then your cookies are ready to bake. I will now be putting it in the oven at 375 for 10 to 14 minutes. Good job. Good. When they're still warm, right after you've taken them out of the oven, is when you need to take out the middle of your pinata cookies. Oh, that's, that's actually perfect. Look at that. And we figured out it's going to work a lot better on the small gingerbread men. Make sure to watch your timer really closely because some of these only took six minutes to cook. It really depends on the thickness of your cookie and how big they are. So the frosting I made was decorator's frosting. It's two cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of water, and that's it. Super simple, but very easy to make. Then I added in some food coloring and mixed it together, put it in a baggie, and now I'm going to cut the tip. And now I'm ready to decorate. So I'm just going around the outside edge. This is basically just to glue our cookies together. And I like using the baggy method here because I feel like it's easier for all of you guys to have something like this than a whole cake decorating kit. And now we're just gonna layer the ones that we already cut the holes out of on top, and that's gonna give our space for candy! So I'm gonna fill this one with mini M&Ms. Okay, now I'm just gonna glue it together. Now we just decorate the top and we're done. You know what's really cool about these? It will be able to stand up like a real boy. <laughs> That's so cute. So before you can put your candy in there, you have to pull the intestines out. I'm doing surgery. Whoa. <laughs> no, but seriously, you can put any kind of candy in there, and I think it's exciting to try a whole bunch of different kinds so that when the kids bite into these cookies, they're gonna be surprised with what they get. All right, Mr. Gingerbread Man, spill the beans. That's almost too panny. <laughs> this is really nice because it hardens very well. So you can decorate it and it can be sitting there for a while and it will still look really good. And it will hold its shape. And he wants it. Hey Charlie, wanna see me chop this guy in half? <laughs> Woo! So cute! 
I love the way these turned out. And if you think my Harry Potter ugly Christmas sweater is adorable like I do, you can get it on uglychristmassweater.com. I will have a link in the description below for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more awesome videos for Christmas. And check out over here to see a whole playlist of all of my Harry Potter Christmas special. If you want to follow me every day, you can follow me on The Beach House over here. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram too. We'll see you guys next time.